Hi friends, welcome to this class. And here in this class, I am going to discuss how to synthesize pyro from different methods. The one is the first one is pulmonic synthesis of pyro. Here, what we take is we take one comma four dicarbonyl compound with primary amine only. We know primary amines are nothing but if this is NH two, NH three is also a primary amine. NH two R. These two are primary amines, whereas these R R only single H or R R R. This is secondary amine and this is tertiary amine. If we react the one comma four dicarbonyl compound only with this primary amine or ammonia, we are going to get the pyro. Otherwise, if we react with secondary or tertiary, we are not going to get the product. So. The reaction for this is nothing but one comma four dicarbonyl compounds are nothing but this. Here I am going to be getting two methyl group. This is one comma four dicarbonyl compound because here ketone group is there. Ketone group is there. When it is treated with ammonia, I am going to get pyrrole. This is the structure of pyrrole. This is the synthesis. If you write these two things, the statement and the reaction, you are going to get one mark. And the mechanism for mechanism, you will get four mark. And the mechanism is very easy as we discussed in furan. As we discussed in furan, the same mechanism is there. So what we consider? First we consider ketone group that is dimethyl carbonyl compounds. This is dimethyl carbonyl compounds, and here I have ammonia. You please, as I write, you to copy because I am going to rub the steps. Hmm. This is also neutral, and this is also neutral. So my next compound should be that is my next step should be neutral. See, here the oxygen is more electron active, so it takes electron density towards itself, and this is base because it has got two lone pair of electrons, so it is electron rich. So it is going to attack this position where it is electron deficient. So I got the structure to be like this. Me and here I got O minus O minus NH3 plus and Me. This the structure I got. Initially both are neutral. Now also they are neutral. Plus and minus. The net charge is zero. That is they are neutral. I can write the same compound like this because this is sp3 hybridized. I can rotate it like anyhow I want. So NH3 I am going to write like this. NH3 no problem. Oxygen O minus here and methyl group is here. Ah, isn't it? It is right because. We can rotate the bond, and this nitrogen has got positive charge and oxygen has got negative charge. Since it is electronegative, it can't have positive charge because it will be unstable. So it loses this electron and it takes this electron density towards it. It loses proton H plus ion. It loses proton and it takes electron density towards itself. And this proton will going to attack. This one. So the our next compound will be like this. See, here no problem. This is group. Here what we get is uh, sorry, O H here. Let's form this and O minus. This is group is here and it became N H two. If I consider any secondary or tertiary amine, see if I consider tertiary amine instead of H, we will be having R. If it is R, we can't remove that R, but we can easily remove H plus because it can be removed easily. Proton can be removed easily, so it is given only by primary amines or ammonia. Here I am going to I'm, I have taken ammonia, so this is my compound, and this oxygen is also electronegative, so it also takes this electron towards itself, and it will be having a lone pair of electron. It becomes electron deficient, so this is going to attack here. This is nothing but cyclization. So my next compound will be like this. The compound is C. O minus. Let me write here. No problem. O minus 
Yummy will be here. Yummy. Yummy bonding. Isn't it? And here I have which? I have yummy. And this is nitrogen. Yes. Yes. Since it is getting negative, I have written negative. It is getting positive, but it takes electron from this, so this should get positive. The whole charge will be zero, so it is neutral. Plus or minus zero. It again loses this proton, and this electron shift towards nitrogen, so it again becomes neutral. And my my compound will be. Let me rub here, or I can write here. No problem. Mm, yes, my compound will be like this. This is. Nitrogen became using proton. It became H, and here I have H. Here I have Me, isn't it? And here I got H. Still I have Me, and this is bonding. This is the compound which we got. Next, I have to rub because I am not getting enough space. So this compound we got. I hope you have written the reaction. From this compound, see what we do is we acidify. Acidify means excess of hydrogen is added. Sorry, H plus ion is added. That is, we will add HCl or H2SO4 in excess. That is nothing but acidification. This H plus is electron deficient, whereas oxygen is electron rich. So this H plus will attack this oxygen and this oxygen. So the, our next step will be like this. See, isn't it? Yummy, and this oxygen O H two. It was O H. Now O H two, and it gets positive charge. This oxygen. Hey, sorry, this bond is not here, but the bond is here. O H two plus. In same way, here also here methyl group and O H two plus because the H plus ion attached to this oxygen, and here I have one double bond. And we know that these carbons are having. Two hydrogens here like this, isn't it? Since oxygen, which is more electronegative, since it has got positive charge, so it tries to neutralize it. So it takes this electron and becomes neutral by losing water. So two moles of H2O is released, and we left with structure here like this. See, this is the structure we left with. We have methyl group here, methyl group here. It got positive charge. It also got positive charge because of using of water molecule. It takes that electron and it moves away. So this is unstable. To become stable, these hydrogens will move as protons, and this bond will shift like this. This bond will shift like this, and our compound will be. See, this is our compound, double bond, double bond from hydrogen. Only one hydrogen is there, one hydrogen is here, two hydrogen, and here we got methyl group. This is derivative of pyridine. Sorry, I mean pyrrole, not pyridine. Pyridine is different. This is pyrrole, two comma five dimethyl pyrrole, which we synthesis from. Uh, Carbonyl dicarbonyl compounds using ammonia, we got this compound. This is the synthesis of pyrrole. So it is uh, one of the synthesis of pyrrole. Pyrrole derivative. And I, I have two more synthesis. That is from acetylene. We know the structure of acetylene. Acetylene is nothing but alkene. That is the structure of acetylene is like this. If we take two moles of acetylene, that is C two H two, ah, huh? then in presence of ammonia, if we react it, if we heat it, we get C four H four NH plus hydrogen will be liberated. That is nothing but synthesis of what it is. It is nothing but pyrrole. So we can synthesis pyrrole from acetylene. Two moles. Two moles of acetylene with one mole of ammonia. Acetylene. This is nothing but acetylene. The structural structure is this one. Here the carbon is sp hybridized, and this is our pyrrole. And I have one more method. 
that one is important it may be asked in some of the competitive exams we will ask uh, that is for furan we discussed about furan its structures uh, everything we have discussed its chemical properties i hope you have watched those videos if you have not watched it, you please watch the videos are in serials like 1 2 3 4 5 6 uh, if it is of 9 uh, you should go back to 1 2 3 so that you will get the clear cut idea of this heterocyclic compound this is furan when furan treated with ammonia nh3 in presence of p2o5 i hope p2 so i'm sorry here to o3 Al2O3 at 773 Kelvin. If we heat this furan, this is furan. This is ammonia. This acts as catalyst, and we are going to get pyrrole. This is the structure of pyrrole. We will get pyrrole. They will ask. If what is the reaction? If it occurs, what will how we will get? Or how to synthesize pyrrol using furan? This is the or when you ask about this or these temperatures. This is about synthesis of pyrrol. In next class, we shall discuss about its chemical reactions followed by uh, chemical reactions and something else. Huh? Till then, take care and have a great day. Thank you.